Welcome to day 9 of my 2021 holiday card series. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are using the Your Next Stamp, uh, my stamp set that we use for day 1. I mentioned in that video that I will be repeating stamp sets, papers, etc. throughout this holiday card series. So this will be the second time you see the stamp set. I don't know that it'll be your last because they are so stinking adorable, but this one's gonna be a bit more involved than, we're for, than the first one. And we're gonna be using some papers from My Favorite Things and Lawn Fawn to help me create a fun fireplace backdrop. So let's head over to my craft table and we'll get started. So these are the colors I'm gonna be using on today's card. So I will try to remember to throw up a timestamp if you're not interested in watching me color. Um, apparently I lost the footage of me stamping these images, but I just stamped on my Copic friendly paper using the MFT, excuse me, MFT inks. So I, my idea for this card was to have two stockings and then the little mouse with the ribbon hanging from a mantle. Now, not the mouse with the ribbon hanging. He's going to be sitting on a mantle. So I'm coloring both of these red and green. So the first one, I'm just, I'm just alternating the stripes between the two. So I am using the darkest color first and then working my way toward the lightest, which is R35. And then the R20 went on their cheeks. So that's where that extra red came in. And then I'm using the darker greens. Um, I wanted a more traditional green rather than the bright, vibrant yellow green that I've been using. So I can go traditional, you guys. I can do it. I don't like to do it all the time, but I can do it. <laughs> So again, just going darkest to lightest and then working my way through the colors. And I really love how cute and special these stockings turned out. This, this stamp set is just super adorable. I hope it's still available. I have no idea. I can't, I can't even remember when I bought it. I'm thinking I bought it earlier this year because I think I got it the same time I got the M memory box plaid paper. And I think that released this year, if I can remember. Speaking of plaid. MFT has a new plaid. They have several new plaids and oh my gosh, they're so pretty. One of them is like their fire fire coral color and it's like, oh, beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> so on this stocking, like I said, I'm alternating. Um, on the inside of the stocking, I'm using the darkest color of the two. So on the first mouse, I use red. There's not a whole lot, but there is a little bit that needs to be um, colored in. And here you can see that I realized that I missed that. So I don't have a companion dice up for this. So I ended up cutting it out by hand and I'm going to end up cutting off their, the end of their tails, which is a bummer. And I, there's something going on with my printer. HP doesn't work well with the Mac. And, um, when you like, if it's in a software that does a preview, like the silhouette software, I, it says corrupt file every single time. So I haven't been able to use my silhouette to cut anything out. And normally I'll scan these images and then cut them out with my silhouette. And I just haven't been able to do that. So I don't know how many times you'll see me fussy cut, but you'll see me fussy cut a few times. Um, at some point I may end up selling my Cameo. Actually, I won't end up selling my Cameo because I use it to make stickers. Um, and although I don't have a sticker shop anymore, I do make sticker labels for my stamps and my dies. So I'll have to take it under advisement, but maybe Santa Claus can bring me a scan and cut. Um, I'll have to put it on the list. So for the bow, I'm just doing the same thing. Um, I am coloring darkest to lightest and then just having that highlight on the end. Oh, it's just so stinking cute. I, again, this mouse, and apparently this is a mouse that they've, I, to be quite honest, I didn't even know your next step made stamps because I have a, a pad of paper from them. That's, that's how I found them was through a plaid paper. So when I went looking for more plaid paper, I saw that they had the stamp set and I immediately bought it. Cause like I said, it's, it's stinking adorable. So for the holly leaves, I'm doing just the darkest in the middle and then working my way back out. For his hat, I just did the darkest and then worked my way to like the next lightest one. I didn't do a whole bunch of shading on his hat and I wasn't about to try to do um, 
the stripes because this was hard enough and that's teeny teeny tiny okay so for his ears I'm using R20 and then I'm gonna go back over it um, to just add a bit more color normally I would have done like something that would have been closer to their skin tone this is R23 I believe or R22 um, something closer to their like what their not skin fur would be <laughs> but since this is already a whimsical stamp I went with this this kind of reminds me of the Cinderella mice Cinderella is my absolute favorite princess if you didn't know <laughs> so I, I think Cinderella was the very first movie I saw in theaters and I think that's why um, I have such a love for her so I wanted to keep them a lighter brown and so I'm using E33, E21, and E50, I think. And I'm just doing like I normally do, darkest to lightest. You guys are gonna get tired of hearing me say that. <laughs> it's just the way I like to color. I like to go ahead and add in the darkest shadow and then you know, work my way to the lightest. I just feel like it's easier that way for me. Um, but if you color a different way, there's no really wrong way to color. Um, you just have to be careful how you hold your marker so you don't have a lot of ink come out, etc. So color darkest to lightest, color lightest to darkest, do mid-tone, however you want to do it. Um, it's just paper. Like it's not like, I know a lot of people sell their wares and like I do, but like it's just paper. Sit down and practice. That's, I mean, that's what I do. So yes, but basically all my practicing is on camera with you. <laughs> so I am leaving their noses pink. And I just, oh, I just love them so much. They're just so stinking cute. But anyway, they remind me of Cinderella. And like I said, Cinderella was the first um, movie I saw in a theater. And I've, I've just always loved her. So for this little mice, I'm coloring him even lighter than I colored the first one that's in the um, stocking. I'm just trying to make them a little bit different and um, make sure they look like from their same family but have a little different fur. And I'm using R20 for little cheeks. I've probably seen Cinderella, I don't, I don't even know how many times I've seen Cinderella. And I'm using the light brown to go over their ears to kind of tone down the pink a little bit. You have to let me know in the comments down below if you have a favorite Disney princess. I also love Moana. I think Moana is the best one in recent years um, I was not a Frozen fan um, I never even saw the second Frozen but I loved Moana Moana makes me sob when her grandmother dies it's like <gasps> oh, kill me <laughs> and my family is Native American so you know her grandmother having her totem and just or you know her spirit animal it just really I just really really like it and the songs are really good I didn't even realize it was, was, is it Christopher Jackson who plays George Washington and Hamilton was her dad? I love him so much. <laughs> I just love listening. I could just listen to him talk and him sing for hours and hours and hours. He sang the national anthem at the World Series, not the World Series, what was that called? The All-Star Game for baseball. So maybe you saw him there. And then here you can see like we have a light mouse, we have one that's a little bit darker, and then we have the darkest one. So for the um, fur on the stocking, I am using C0 and C1 to kind of just dot in some color just to give it a little bit of texture, but not um, fill it in completely. Using just a light, light, light BG to go over the stripes in the candy cane. And now we're moving on to assembly. So I am using a piece of red cardstock. I've cut down to four, uh, nope, five and a half by eight and a half. I've squared it at four and a quarter. This is a piece of paper from My Favorite Things. Um, this top piece is from Lawn Fawn. This is from like a spring fling pack. And then this middle piece is the MFT wood grain. The, um, and I'm gonna show you the paperbacks in just a second. So these are the two that I used and here's the wood grain one. And I'm like, wait a minute, the paper's backwards. You can't see anything anyway. <laughs> So yeah. And like I said, this is kind of my idea for it. I just wanted them hanging. Um, and I just, oh, I just really love how this turned out. They're all going to be popped up. 
<clears throat> excuse me, on foam mounting tape. And then um, we'll go over them with some shimmer and then we're gonna do a sentiment. I'm not the world's best cut, um, cutter. I know you're supposed to hold your scissors. I mean, cutting is hard for me anyway, but cutting while, you know, disabled is not the easiest. Um, if you struggle as well, all I can do is just take your time or see if you can, you know, I know it's hard to put money aside. A lot of people are on fixed in incomes, etc. cetera. Um, but just take your time. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, it's handmade after all. So I was trying to decide on a sentiment and I settled on one and then I'm going to bring in the mini Misty to stamp it. And I'm going to stamp this in a green from Pink Fresh Studio. This is one of their sets of um, ink cubes and I use that to stamp it. I'm going to have to move my, uh, my um, what's it called? My tape up or zoom out just a little bit. So that's it. <laughs> have a mice holiday. How cute is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to bring in a couple of dots. Um, and then I used a gold Sharpie for the bell on the mouse. And then I am using my nouveau shimmer pen to add all of the sparkle because they are enchanted mice and yeah. So adding some red glitter dots and that's it. Here is a look at the card in real time. Didn't they turn out so cute? I love them so, so much. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. And yeah, let me know your favorite Disney princess in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what you have to say and I'll see you next time. Ooh.